George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Life in the jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction. And between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Um, bye! Natural. Good work, George. Ah! Ursula set river free. No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed him, and Ursula destroyed Baby Sloth Valley. Ah! George tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George. That's a staring contest. Paper beats rock. That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Ah, tag. George tell Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula. And so is that. Ape sure. Ah! Now we fight! What? Wait! Oh, may I suggest oh, a jungle vote oh, instead? Oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The sacred jungle vote, where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not wanted. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals. Animals want much help today. George think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. 
Can I ask you for a mani pedi? Would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. <laughs> Good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just lying there. Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on, bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am. Savage me! Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm. Cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The river of bats, the banana peel road, the itchy nostril caves. Yep, this looks like place. Uh... <laughs> George traveled much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula, right? George helped too much. Animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George, need Ursula help! Ah! Ah! Oh! Jungle animals need Ursula help? Ah! If Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? Wait! George realized Jungle need George and Ursula. And George, sorry. Ursula whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed. Devenomed weaklings, those fleshy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula will teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs, and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. No! No, you! No! Like this! George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Nature's 
reclaimed her savage roots, and her vengeance will be fierce, merciless, and swift, like it should be. What? Who wants to fight? You call that a haymaker, fancy wings? Ursula really makes jungle wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howell, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, it. George, help! Something did not count. The jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George, have idea to keep zebra safe? There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape right. Now all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh! George no a proud of George. <laughs> this is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? That you drunk wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, nah, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> ah, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating! I need a present! Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think! Or you're dead! Yes! Fondue set! <laughs> Those are perfect! Two metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year! Just add in same day shipping and. How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni! You don't understand! My mother is. Let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it! No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? 
Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, Abe? George's busy. George? George! No need, Yow. George right here. Wh how? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too. George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey, put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey, George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. Wow, I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. No, George, I mean, really, does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! <laughs> Japan? You show us now? Ha! If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Come on, come on, come on! Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Aseto jungle no nyuga suru. Hey! That looked like me! Kora yappa dabe da! Nisemon da! Okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain! George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey, stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> uh, okay, people, time to raid the D-list! Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! No, 
Oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. That tickled unexpectedly. Good news! George, back! And good news! George, think of playing this time! George, draw it in box! Uh, what was I really expecting? Plan step one! Defeat Doctor! Get away from that! Hey, George, no finish playing inside here. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, boy. George, have bones again. And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then were returned to sender for a full refund. Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. <laughs> George?